welcome to Lake Como. So we just arrived at Lake Como and this is our pretty room. For the next four days we are staying here. And right outside we've got a stunning view of the lake from our cute little terrace. And I have to tell you, already we have seen so many stunning views from our car ride. And now we are settled in this beautiful hotel and this place is so peaceful and beautiful. I just can't wait to show you everything Lake Como has to offer. This is the front of the hotel, Villa Marie. And because of the good location, the facilities as the pool, the parking space and the nice hospitality of the owners, the hotel is most of the time sold out months in advance. So keep this in mind. If you travel by train from Milan, then Varenna is the best destination for you. From Milan there is a direct train to get to Varenna and it's called the RE8 line. Visit the website of rometurio.com to find out more information. Verena is also easily accessible to places like Menaggio, Bellagio and Tremezzo. So a pretty convenient place to stay if you travel by public transportation. Because it's easily accessible by train, you can also expect much more crowds during the high season, just as Bellagio. If you want to escape the crowds, then the town of Tremezzo or Leno are maybe more suitable for you. To start your first full day, take a walk along the waterside. From here you can get a beautiful impression of the lake, the beautiful villas and the town of where you are staying. From the town of Tremezzo where we were staying, we came across a stunning villa and this villa really sets the base for everything beautiful that was coming. From Tremezzo we have to go to Bellagio and next stop is Bellagio for only 9 euros. It's always easy to pick the first restaurant you can find at the main square, but if you are looking for an authentic Italian lunch or dinner, then visit Osteria Il Pozzo. After lunch we spent a couple of hours at the pool to relax. And for the afternoon we went with the ferry to Bellagio to see the town and to visit the beautiful gardens of Villa Melzi. Unfortunately, the last ferry from Bellagio to Tremezzo would leave at 7.30 p.m. And this isn't much of an uncommon time, also during the high season as well. So always check the schedule at the port. So we decided to not have dinner in Bellagio and instead we found a local and unique restaurant, which I would recommend very much. The restaurant has a daily menu and the only thing you can decide on is how many courses you would like and which wine. We rushed a little into making the reservation, so little did we know that we would be getting the vegetarian menu, or as the friendly owner of the restaurant called it, the garden menu. Well, the owner's humor and our curiosity naturally made us want to try the menu, and it was delicious. 
The next day we took the bus to one of the most idealistic places of the lake. Of course, Villa del Balbianello. There are two ways to enter the villa. One is by foot, you will walk one kilometer on an uphill path, or by a taxi boat from Leno Beach. Because the villa and the gardens are one of the main attractions out here, the entrance price is 23 euros, compared to the other villas where you will pay 8 to 15 euros. Besides the price, it's definitely my favorite place. The gardens are made to perfection and really take your time and stroll around. Then it's really worth the money and time. If you want to visit one of the many villas, then a useful tip is to buy a ticket at the desk. I just watched a YouTube vlog from someone who wanted to visit Villa Balbianello and checked online if there are any tickets available for that day and apparently they were sold out. I would recommend going anyway because it's always possible to visit the gardens and if there is a waiting line, it's never that long. This is my third time visiting Lake Como during high and low season and we have never booked tickets in advance and we never experienced anything like this so hopefully this is a useful tip From the port of Leno we took the ferry to Verena. For lunch we sat down at Bar Il Molo. It was pretty crowded, but within 5 minutes we had a table. Because this place is so famous for the Instagram shot nearby the water, my hopes were not that high. But because the menu looked really good, we tried it anyway. And yes, the food is definitely worth the hype. After lunch we walked through the garden of Villa Monastero. Also a beautiful garden with many different flowers and beautiful viewpoints. The house museum and the balcony were unfortunately at construction, but they will open again at the 28th of May. Back in the center of Verena, you can walk beautiful along the cobblestone paths. Keep in mind that this town is built up against the hill. So the first turn you will make, it is uphill, but that is also the charm of the town. If you are looking for a nice place to have a drink, Grand Hotel Tramezzo is the place to be. You can sit on the terrace of the hotel and enjoy the unique and beautiful view of the lake. Or have a nice drink at the beach bar. For dinner we went to this beautiful restaurant. We sat outside on the terrace with the most beautiful ambience and the food was perfect. So I would definitely recommend this restaurant. On our last day we went to Villa Carlotta. This beautiful villa has a rich history and it was built in the late 17th century. So yes, this property does exist for over 300 years. The botanical garden is open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The ticket price is 15 euros and this includes entry to the museum.
Finally, we went back to Bellagio to one of our favorite restaurants and sat down for a delicious meal. I will link all the information down below in the description, just as all the necessary links. I hope you enjoyed this video about Lake Como and hopefully there are some useful tips for you. Otherwise, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them, so write them down in the comments.